everyone, Athena Artiste here, crossing fingers, <laughs> with Chapter 4 in the Mega Mod series, and I really apologize for how long this has taken me to put together, but it has been proven to be, well, a major challenge insofar as dealing with the storage issues, developing in the game, plus tech issues. So we'll get into more of that in just a moment, but let's start with where we are right now. We are at year 12 and I need to change the scale here to the 25 year one. Now do remember we had bumped the food level up to the 30,000 level and right now we are just a little bit above that. But obviously yes we're doing great food wise tools also, and health has come up tremendously. The one issue we're still looking at, at least right now, is clothing. Which right now, as you see, we have 35 in storage. I will quickly go through the graph here for those same things. There's food, tools herbs and clothing so getting into what are the things causing problems with storage let me put it over here on quantity and you can see that we have over 15,000 fish in storage so over half of our 30,000 amount of food is actually tied up in fish so I really don't think we need to be catching fish for a while. Other problems in storage are d with, well, for example, we're getting a fair amount of sugarcane in bamboo here, so which we could turn into some fuel bundles because I'm certainly not going to get into processing the sugarcane or anything like that yet. So that's one of the things. And the other one I want to point out while we're here is the tobacco leaf is also starting to pile up. So, at any rate, now let's put it back on name. And we're going to talk about the clothing options. Right now, I have my weavers turning the flax into linen, but they have run out of the flax. We do have a little bit of cotton over here, which I can turn into cloth. But we still do have a little bit of linen here. Not very much leather. And a little bit of feathers. So we've got some options there. So let's start out by first of all we are going to take one person off of the weaver. But we are going to switch them over to cotton. And I'm also going to keep an eye on this tailor so that when they do run out of that linen, I can switch them over to working with something else. Now I'm going to turn off this one rice planter that they have already built for me. Now, the fishery. I obviously don't want to take it out, but I want to take everyone that's working there off most of whom there's at least two what two there and a third one there so what i'm going to do first is yes turn off work at this location take everyone off of there and this is where i'm getting into some of the more radical things i've decided to do here at this point i'm actually going to take out these two houses and this barn, well, okay, before I do it, let's look. This barn is stuffed full primarily with fish, as is this barn mostly full of fish. Whereas I want these to be holding the, the meats, which in other words means the fish and the crayfish and whatever else it is that they're getting from our two scavengers here so I'm actually going to take out both of these barns there as well this barn remember is pretty much empty 
So I think that everything that's in here can get taken over there and dumped into there. What I'm going to put in to replace these two barns so that I am sure that they're just putting in the proteins and that that I want them to be storing in these barns is we're going to put in there we go it's a quay building it's, it's the quay building's meat locker which is right there which is for storage of meats so that's going to go there and we're also going to put one right in here. Now the thing is, with putting the one over here, is that the Quay buildings do not recognize the dock walkways as paths. So I will have to... Hold on, let me move this. Bump it back. See if I bring it up there. It doesn't like that dock walkway, so I have to bump it back just one. There. Now, insofar as the market, this one here, as you can see, is pretty well stuffed full. Now, I'm hoping this will work out. We will see. If it isn't, I'll have to do something else. But I'm going to bring in the dock market, put it here behind that new barn. So there's that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this area. Now over here, we are going to bump our log amount all the way up to the thousand level. And we are going to be cutting, because this is spring, we're going to be cutting lumber for a while because I'm going to need it. Now, those, some of those extra people I just took off of doing other things, I'm going to put two of them over here on the stone shack. So that is going to be fully staffed now. And in hopes that they will be helping to grow our stone faster to the point where it can be harvested. And I am going to put out here, this is a medieval clinic. I'm not sure if I will be staffing it yet, but at least it is going to go out here. And I will be building two of the medieval houses over the top of that. Well, that one's got the balcony on the front right there, so we're going to put that one there, which they will, I will let them build. And this one is going to go over for the third floor, but I don't think I'm going to build that just yet. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this area for right now. Now, in this, we have the general store right here, which isn't that bad in so far as what it is holding. But I want to put another tailor directly across from this one so that they could take advantage of, you know, whatever's coming from our weaver here and this barn here and everything. So this is going to have to move. Now, do I want to build another general store or do I want to put in the regular... Let's see, where's the ones that's the markets? Well, let's see. The general store uses 32 stone and just wood. Now, the regular 
rural market. Whoops. I have to move these things so I can get to my... Now that uses 60 stone and of course some lumber. Now this one I know would definitely hold a lot more. And I have a bigger radius. But I really did like this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it down a bit so that it's over here. So there we go. Now that's going to be, oh, that's, the, okay, the other thing I wanted to do, because eventually I'm going to be moving this blacksmith, because I'm going to have the blacksmith, of course, go over where I'm setting up my smelting operation, which I did want to get set up here, but I don't need these stockpiles here anymore. And what I thought, this would be a great place to put in my bundling shed, which I do want them to build fairly quickly so that we can start using up those sugar canes and the bamboo and whatever else it is that we could turn into fire bundles that seems to be piling up. Okay, that's pretty much it for here right now. So, other than the fact that I do want... I'm going to leave them doing fire bundles, at least for the time being, but I am going to take one person off of that as well, because I'm going to have a lot of people dying of old age here, and I might as well... Because I, I want to try to keep my kids in school so that they can graduate. Okay, now up here, now remember that this is the Wild Things Forester. So they are generating a lot of food for us. And not that much lumber as you would get, well, logs, as you would get from a typical forester. Because they're actually running around and planting all of the various seeds that they can for whatever it is and not always trees. So what I do need though is because this, these tiny barns, as I mentioned in my post-production for my last episode, are getting full. I need to put in those larger barns. Yes, I know I could put in these which could then be upgraded at a later time, but I think these ones here will work out well in the long run once things sort of stabilize. The one thing I do not want to do, which I made as a mistake in trying to do this episode several times, is to cut the food level down from this 30,000 point, because then that would make all of my hunters and gatherers stop doing whatever it is that they're doing and I don't want to do that so now I think we've got everything the buildings and so forth set up what I need to do is run around and look for some stone because we are going to need a fair amount of stone we're building all this, and of course they're not harvesting any yet from my stone shack. I'm trying to be very careful here not to get anything over on this side of the creek. And I do think I am going to put in... There's my road right there. Let's just bring a bridge over here, just in case I do get someone stuck over there on the other side of that. I don't want them, you know, to freeze and starve to death and stuff. So I always seem to do that. They seem to find their way over there just fine, but then they can't find their way back. So they end up freezing and starving to death. So. 
little bit of stone over there. There. Let's keep going or looking around here. I think I've gotten quite a bit of this out of here. And, well, wait a minute. Before I do it here, I could get up here and do this bit. But before I do that, I am going to run my road all the way down here quite a bit. And I'm going to run this road here over this way as well. There. Now I can grab whatever stone and so forth that's available in there. Again, trying to avoid disturbing my stone shack people. Okay, so now finally we could put the game into motion. Took me 16 minutes to do all of that work. And I'll talk about some of the tech issues. As some of my long-term viewers know that I... It's a hereditary thing. It's a, it's a nerve disorder. And... I bought this new Microsoft Arc Touch Mouse not too long ago. And... I've been having a lot of issues with getting it, well, because of the tremors and the spasms that I have in my hands and so forth and everything, there's times that it just, the mouse goes nuts, let's just put it that way. I mean, in this game, it will start like it wants to spin around, the, the view wants to spin around like a top, and other annoying things. So... I decided, I actually called Microsoft's Disability Center for support and spent some time with them on the phone and hopefully, now they're still emptying this barn out, now that one's done, let's turn that off, make sure nobody ends up over there by accident. Okay, but anyways, we, uh, I did make some changes in so far as the settings for the mouse itself, and if it should continue to misbehave to the point it's been where, well, like I said, the camera view starts spinning around like a top on me for some unknown reasons, then... Uh, right now they're trying to stuff everything into that market, which of course is pretty full. Maybe what I'll do... Okay, let's reclaim that one for right now. So they're just trying to empty this one. Let's do that first. Then we'll take this one out once they get that other one done. But anyways, I, I explained to Microsoft that if I'm continuing to have these challenges that I will have them look at this video so they can see what I'm talking about when the mouse starts doing things that I don't want it to do. <laughs> okay, I had enough said on that point. Let's move on. We're just about done with our bundling shit. Which is good. And I will only be putting one person there on the bundling shed. Okay, pause. And they are going to start with the sugar cane. And I did want to bump the fuel amount up. So that they can keep going. Now how much lumber? Oh goodness. That should be plenty for now. 
So you're going back over to doing firewood. And how are we doing? It looks like the dock market... Well, they've started building the clinic. Not sure what they're going to be working on next. I'll tell you what, though. I want them to do this next. So let's put a priority on that. Because I do want to get this one out of here. Which is darn near full. Now, let's see. I also have to start thinking... Well, I'm going to stick to the, just the regular roads for now. Yes, I do want to start bringing in better roads. But I think I'm going to let that go until the next episode when I know that by then I should be having stone available to me from my stone shack because I'm going to go right to the stone type of road and I need a two piece There. And there we go. Okay. Now, I only want my two people that are currently on here to be on this one. So let's take this one out now. There we go. And that should transfer both of them right over to there. And I hope that that will work out in the long term. Now, where... Looks like I need a two-piece in there. There we go. Now, they still... Well, we've got that one emptied. This one is stuffed full. Well, I'm gonna wait till they get this one emptied out, and then I will take that one out. Okay, now the next thing I want them to do is let's get all of these barns up in here done so that we could start taking out all of these tiny barns and there we're starting with having people pass And we will have quite a number of people dying from old age in this. Now then, did our weaver work through all of that cotton? No, they've still got a little bit of cotton left. And in fact, they're starting to get some flax back as well. See, that's why I did not want to lower the food amount. Because I wanted to keep my gatherers and hunters busy up here. I just wanted to stop having fish coming in. I don't know, maybe I could keep them on the weaver. We'll see. I did put them back over to doing firewood. So this one, where is it here? This one here can start making us some rope. So, we should be getting our barns built in here pretty soon. And while they're working on that, I think I will start my setup over here. And I am going to put in, before I forget, I want to put in 
just a little stone stockpile right there so that they don't have that far to walk with a stone and so forth that they're harvesting from here. Because we are going to put in... Let's see... Let's start with the market. This one is going to be this type. And we're going to put that right down in there. But I am not building this just yet. I'm just doing my setup at this point. Now down in here is where I thought I would place my iron ore shack. And there we lost another person. Okay. And I'm quite deliberately putting them down here so that they do not have a full circle available to them. While I'm thinking of it, have they run out of linen yet? Where is... They're just about out of linen. So what do I want them to switch to doing? We've got almost a hundred cloth. Where are we with feathers? Uh, well, not a lot. Okay, let's switch them to making... Well, I don't know how many they'll be able to make. Maybe about ten or so of the cloth down coats. So we'll have at least 10 people running around with really nice quality coats. So that's good. And then once they run through that, we'll switch them over to either you doing the cloth or the um, leather. Now back out here again, I wanted to put in the coal shack, which I probably will build first. Let's see, there's that road. I want it sort of centered between those two road areas. Right in there. Okay. So we've got our setup sort of started out here. Now let's jump over here, see how they're doing with our barns. Oh, let's see. They've got this one done. They've got that one done. They're working on this one. So now we can start taking out these tiny little barns. So let's see. There's one right there. Not that these are completely full yet, but they will be getting there. And I, was, I might as well take corrective action when I can. Okay, there's there. There's one over here. Be sure I'm just getting that. Yeah, I just got the barn there. Okay. Now there's another one right there. Yeah. Okay, now I don't think there's one over here, or over in here, no, and nor is there one over there, okay, so that's fine, so now what I need to do, oh, well, Looks like they've run out of the cotton anyway. Let's just take our one person off of there now. So we can keep things going, but they need to be switched over to the bamboo. There we go. Okay, back to what we're doing over here. Now we've got to take out all of this excess road. So they'll actually have more area 
to plant whatever it is that they want to plant. So let's take all of this excess road that I put in so very carefully here. Let's get that all out of here. Okay. It looks like I need to come up just this way now. There. I think that's pretty much everything. Now, do I still have anyone left in here? No. All of those people got moved out of there. So I think I'm gonna actually hold off on building that. And this for the time being. Let's get this general store built so that I can take this one out. And then I will let them go back to doing that. But I also am going to put in... Well, it looks like they're getting pretty close to harvesting. Are they harvesting yet? Yes, they are! Wonderful! Perfect. Okay. That's going to help tremendously. But I'm going to put in because, of course, as I said, this is where my coal area is going to be. I'm going to have housing in here and down in here. And, of course, down in here. So I want to set up sort of like a little buffer zone between where I'm going to be doing my smelting and where all these people are going to be living. Part of which is going to be be a cemetery which I will be putting in probably out this way Let's see that 16 by 10 oh we had somebody graduate and then someone died now that's not a very big cemetery, but that'll be fine. Okay, there's our general store. Now we only want one person working on there. Which is going to be this person that's right here. So we're going to take this one out. And someone's confused. They don't know where they're supposed to be working. And here comes the rest of the kids graduating. Wonderful. So, let's see. Where can I put someone back to work? What about the weaver? We've got, well, just a tiny bit of cotton. What about the flax? Yes. Okay. So we're going to put one person back to work on here. And they are going to be turning flax into linen for us. And I am going to go ahead get this one going and this one going. Now, did they run out of feathers yet? Let's check. Yes, they did. Oh, but there we had two people die. So... And someone is cold somewhere? Don't tell me someone got stuck someplace. Alright, you are gonna make us... Let's see, it's the... Full coats from the cloth. Turn whatever it is we got of that into cloth. So we're slowly coming up there with our clothing amount. I like to get it at least up above a hundred. 
And we're at the 35 minute mark. And we're doing quite well. Let's see, I was going to get this house over here built. There's our clinic. And this is the one that's going above that. So we're going to build both of those. And let's take our fuel limit all the way up to the thousand level mark as well. Okay, so we got somebody moved into there. Now, do I have enough that I could put someone on that clinic? I think I do. So let's do that. And there we go, we've got someone else in there. Now I want to get this taken out. So that is gone. Now how are we doing over here? Well we got that emptied. This one's got some proteins in it. Not much there. This one is emptied, so let's take this one out now. Just empty that one out. This one still isn't even half full, so there's plenty of room there for that. Okay, back over here with this. Now what I want to do is start replacing these little tiny, tiny homes here. And I keep losing people. Because uh, what I think I will do... Don't know if I'm going to get... Because we're almost to the 40 minute mark. Okay, we're going to put in yet another clinic. Another medieval clinic right here. Don't know if I'm going to have all these built. And then, of course, we're going to put the two floors over the top. Where's one of the ones that has... Let's put the little balcony one on top this time. There we go. There's that. And we'll put one with the bay window there. So there we go. We've got two more houses going there. And I'm going to take out, let's see, that's a young couple. We're going to take this one out. And let's see, that's an older couple. I think I'll just take both of these out of here. I think those will, everyone will fit over in here. And then as these houses and so forth get built, they will come back over here. So when these get removed, I will be putting in better quality housings there. This one I will replace with assault box houses. Because I do love those so much. Okay, so they got this one out, so we could put in, uh, we got someone trampled by a boar. Okay. Put this one directly opposite this one.
There we go. But I do think... This is about where... I'm going to call things... For this episode. Okay. Because the next big push is going to be coming from getting the smelting area set up and to start... Well, let's see. How much rope did we get made? Let's see. Ten rope. I could also put in a ropery to start. How much hemp did we get collected there? Well, we got a fair amount of hemp. So where do I want to put the rope maker? I suppose it would make sense. Well, it should near go near one of the markets. Well, will it fit down in here, in this little spot? I don't know. Where is the ropery? Right there. I don't think it's going to fit. Oh, it will. Well, perfect. It's almost as if I planned it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put a ropery in there. And which means we're probably going to need to be opening this one up pretty soon. Now, how much cloth... I'm going to pause the game here, because this is where I think I'm going to stop. But I'm going to look. Okay, we've got 86 linen. We've got 54 cloth. So I guess I don't need to switch them just yet. So where are we on leather? Look at all the leather. Actually, what I think I will do is I will put them on to making the hide coats so I can just shut that one down and leave them alone and let the rest of this go until the next episode. So, I do hope everyone is enjoying this and I am appreciate those likes and subscribes and by all means leave me comments and suggestions for ideas that you might have because I do love to hear them. So we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.